Hi everyone, in this video, I'm here to provide you with the best VPNs to use in China. A VPN is essential for accessing websites and apps that you commonly use since China blocks everything due to their country's extreme restrictions. On top of being able to access blocked sites, a VPN also makes your internet connection private and secure from anyone who might be snooping around, like their government. It basically hides all the data between your device and the websites you visit. This means that nobody can see what you're doing online. Let's check and see which VPN will fit your needs, and by the end of this video, you'll know which one to choose. Please feel free to explore all the VPNs that I will mention in this video by clicking the links in the description below. You'll get the best deals with the highest discounts, so go ahead and take advantage of them. Before I provide you with the list, you'll have to consider other factors to make sure your online experience in China is covered. This includes checking your location, getting a Chinese SIM card, choosing a reliable ISP, and setting up your VPN before arrival. When planning to use the internet in China, it's important to be aware that the online resources available can change from one province to another. Some regions might even have a law limiting daily internet access. To avoid expensive roaming charges, it's a good idea to purchase a local Chinese SIM card. The main internet service providers in China are China Telecom, China Unicom, and China Mobile. The popularity of SIM cards varies from province to province. As I've said earlier, before you travel to China, it's crucial to download and set up a VPN on your devices. This is because certain websites and online services might be blocked once you are in the country. Examples of these websites are Google services like Google Search, Gmail, and Google Maps. Social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are also blocked. You won't be able to access streaming services like YouTube and Netflix, as well as news websites like CNN, BBC, and more. By having a VPN installed and ready to use, you can ensure that you will still be able to access all the websites you need. After arriving in China, you can then get a local SIM card to use with your phone or other devices, allowing you to stay connected without getting huge charges. Please keep in mind that even top VPNs don't always work 100% of the time in China. The government constantly searches for and blocks VPN IP addresses as it updates the Great Firewall of China. You don't have to worry about choosing a reliable VPN for your trip to China because I have carefully picked three of the best options for you. I made my choices based on lots of important factors to ensure you have the best possible experience. My top recommendation is ExpressVPN. One of the reasons I highly recommend it is because it typically works smoothly without requiring any manual configuration. This means you can start using it right away without any hassle. However, in the rare event that you encounter any issues, you can easily get help by contacting their live chat support. ExpressVPN offers a range of features that can be incredibly helpful for traveling in China China. For instance, it has a large network of servers located around the world, including in nearby regions to China. This ensures that you can always find a reliable and fast connection. Another noteworthy feature of ExpressVPN is its ability to get through global blocks and access popular streaming services from anywhere in the world. This means you can enjoy your favorite movies and TV shows while traveling in China. NordVPN is also a strong option in China. NordVPN provides dedicated IP addresses as an optional feature. This allows you to have a solid IP address, which can be useful for certain online activities such as accessing banking or corporate information securely while in China. I'll now move on to Surfshark. When using Surfshark for your trip to China, there are several steps you can take to ensure smooth and secure connectivity. First, access the settings in the Surfshark app. Here, you'll want to turn on two key features, no borders mode and rotating IP. These features are designed to help get through internet restrictions, allowing you to connect to Surfshark's servers easily. Another important feature to turn on is the kill switch. This feature ensures that you remain protected by cutting off your internet connection if the VPN connection drops unexpectedly. This prevents any potential data leaks and ensures that your online activities remain secure. It's important to note that all these VPNs, including Surfshark, offer a kill switch feature as standard. If the default configuration doesn't work for you, Surfshark provides the option for manual setup for example, if you're using an Android device, you can set up Surfshark using the OpenVPN protocol. 
which is more reliable in China compared to other protocols like WireGuard. Simply follow the step-by-step -step instructions provided by Surfshark for OpenVPN setup on Android, and you should be able to get a secure connection right away. I want to highlight that all of these VPNs have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can experience these features without any risks. So if you're thinking of giving them a try, be sure to use the link below to get exclusive discounts for each. If you're still curious about these VPNs, the description below includes links to full reviews and tutorials that provide more detailed information. These reviews cover various aspects such as privacy policy, speed, streaming capabilities, torrenting support, security, and additional features. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope this works out for you. If it does, make sure you go ahead and leave a like, and then I'll see you next time. Have a fantastic day ahead.